recording you to put more pressure on. <laughs> oh, it's a smoky and icky out. That view is this view. It's pretty dirty out. Cool glasses, bro. Just some huge lenses, dude, with like fluorescent yellow. Like, she looked like a bug. She looked like a, uh, what do you call it? No. Uh, what the hell's that thing? A praying mantis. Oh. She looked like a praying mantis. You all fire on the sheriff right here. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, <Should've been. laughs> So smoky and dirty right now. But the stains Must just be blowing it right into the valley. It's all low lying, just nasty smoke. Very karaoke type. Beautiful. <laughs> See the reflection of silver in the window. Shout That definitely is a shame. Shout out. Shout It's got some of that shout on it. Got a little bit of shout on it. <laughs> Sorry. Happening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Street, and welcome back to the Stank Stories. We're just out here getting it, baby. It's uh, it's Tuesday morning. Just dropped the kids off at uh, Boys and Girls Club, and we're heading on our way to work. Wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, kind of you know some issues that I've been having with the Mustang. I get you guys constantly commenting on uh, the the videos about. Oh, dude, is your is your freaking shift forks broken yet? Um, you know, do you have the the engine tick? You know, is is everything just falling apart rapidly on your Mustang? And all I can say is I've had a couple of issues, but they're so minor that it's it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, but I wanted to kind of go over some things with you guys because, dude, the internet got me tripping, yo. <laughs> the internet always has some way of getting a hold of your thoughts and be like, oh my god, your car, dude, the engine's gonna blow up, it's over, it's not gonna last, you know, and you're just like, ah. Oh. I mean, I hear normal engine sounds. I mean, there's there's a ting, 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 or like a, what I, what I kind of refer to it as a blap, 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 you know, but that's just part of the, it's just all part of the engine. I don't hear this, this tick from the bottom that people are talking about. Um, I don't hear really anything abnormal. My car has sounded the same way since I bought it. Um, and I'm at 3,000 miles now. So this is like a little 3,000 mile review. 
Um, I just got my oil changed and apparently that's when all the problems start rising is like the oil change happens and I don't know I've just I've been watching other videos been watching other Mustang vloggers and stuff and uh, you know everybody everybody be tripping off of the new stangs man this bitch is warrantied for five years basically like I, I'm I don't I'm putting like maybe 10 to 12 thousand on it a year is what I estimate so I should be good. I'm just gonna keep on sending it until this thing breaks, and if it breaks, whatever. And I really don't feel like there's a problem. I, I feel like it's all good anyway, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna get mine and leave you guys in the dust. Shout out! <laughs> just kidding. Um, so the other issues that I've had um, was basically just a rattle, man. I had a rattle back by the uh, rear passenger window that drove me absolutely nuts. And what it sounded like was. It sounded like a screw that had maybe like like came loose and it was like clink 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 like I would hit like a you know I always have the uh, stiff suspension on so you just boom and it would just clink 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 you know it drove me absolutely nuts man it didn't matter how loud the exhaust was or how loud the stereo was um, you know your ear can find it and, and it would just it would drive me absolutely crazy so I brought that into Ford when I got my oil changed and they fixed it they uh, they laughed about it they're like oh my god like i don't know how you've made it a thousand miles <laughs> with it sounding like that because it was probably a good thousand but um we got that taken care of that was good um the other issue i had was um this glitch that kept popping up on my screen called um mobile mo mobility tire service kit or something um, and that was basically a glitch I guess it's something in the system that if you're you're changing settings and you don't save right or something that it it glitches a system and then it would just randomly pop up so they had to reflash my whole system I lost all my settings it's fine it took me like five minutes to set my settings back up or something it was all good <laughs> um, so there's just a couple of minor little things um, I haven't noticed any like excessive wearing I had him do a full um, a full like overview of the car when I brought it to Ford they looked at the brakes they looked at the tires they looked at all the uh, the fluids um, I guess that's one other thing I'm thinking I would help oh, right when I said fluids <laughs> I have my transmission there the, the shifting has always been a bit notchy to me um, and of course you bring it to the dealership and they're like yeah yeah we couldn't replicate that that's what I told the guys all yeah uh, myself and uh, two other technicians took the car out we couldn't replicate the notchiness and, and why while he was in the middle of saying that I'm just all blah 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 <laughs> and he starts hella laughing he's like I know man I know you bring it in for something and we don't hear it we can't see it he's all but we're not driving the car every day and I was like you know exactly I'm not gonna sit here and, and beat you down over it um, I just I told him let's put it in the record that it wasn't notchy when I test drove the car but then again, my thoughts are is that when I first test drove the car, it intimidated me. I, I, I wasn't used to all this power and all this torque. Um, it, it was something that I, I kind of babied it a little bit. I didn't drive it real, real hard. So maybe it was just the fact that I wasn't driving spiritedly. Um, that could have had something to do with it. Or it had an extra 20 miles on it when I, when I actually took delivery and bought the car. So I don't know if somebody just grinded the hell out of it or, or something was weird, but I just told them, you know, let's just make a note. It's it, it seems to be better than it was, so maybe it was like a break-in thing too. But I said, let's make a note, let's put it in the file, um, and if it if it keeps happening, you know, we'll flush out the transmission and we'll refill it with some some new fluid and you know all that stuff. And it's all getting taken care of, man. This thing, I absolutely love this car. Um, I'm starting to learn how to how to uh, kick the rear end out. That's been something fun. <laughs> I've been doing it with my wife's truck, too. She hasn't appreciated it when we left the dump the other day all sideways. <laughs> just, just driving it at an angle, just drifting down the street, and it was awesome. I'm, I'm finally starting to get the hang of kicking that rear end out and controlling it and trying. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to get it because I want to get to the point where I don't have to be nervous when it starts getting sideways. Because at first, when I first started really sending it, um, you know, the, t the rear end would spin and it would kind of, it, it kind of wiggle a little bit or every once in a while I'll get just a, an amazing shift, hit second and instead of chirping it, it'll just...
car just throws the rear end right out. So I'm trying to get better at learning how to control that and how to use it to my advantage, basically. So every time I get into like an open spot where no one's around and I can just kick the rear end out, I will. And uh, I just kind of play with it a little bit. It's been really fun. And I've been actually doing it in the truck, like I said, too, which is uh, which has been fun, too. Um, otherwise, this car has been a dream. Um, it's been, you guys saw the intro video. It's been so, so smoky. The fires are horrible. Um, this fire right next to my house, the Mendocino Complex, is now the biggest fire in California history. And it has just been blazing. You can see it. It looks like a nuke just went off on the other side of the mountain from my house. I mean, it's only a couple of miles away, but it's on the other side of a mountain. And you see the clouds just billowing over. And man, we were watching it. When it first started, we were watching it pretty close to see if it was gonna come over the ridge. Because if it came over the ridge, that was gonna be some bad news. Um, but it, it, fortunately, it hadn't. And, um, you know, I, I, I pray for those people that lost their homes. And we went through this in Santa Rosa, what, two years ago or a year ago? Um, and then a year before that, we went through it for um, for the same area kind of that's burning now as they had a really bad one and lost like 500 homes or something. I don't know. Wildfires are so bad in California. An average day out here in the summer is like 100, 105 even sometimes. So like every day when it's just hot and nasty like that and we're not getting enough rain, you know, it just, it just makes for really bad situations and stuff. So, um, we're trying to get all through that. Everything's been going good. It looks like it's pretty much contained now and we've got it beat down enough that I don't think we have to worry about it. Um, the firefighters are doing an amazing job. They're here from all over the world, man. Um, and they're just here fighting these fires. So, you know, hand, hand clap to those guys. Thank you so much for all your help, all you firefighters and first responders. Dude, we're so grateful for you guys and thanks for always putting your lives on the line to help keep our way of life going and to better our country is really what it goes down to. We haven't been swimming, we haven't been washing the cars, we haven't really been spending much time outside, period. Um, because you go outside and just all of a sudden the back of your throat burns, you can taste the, the smoke in your mouth because it's so thick down on the roads and it's just yucky, yucky stuff, dude. So, been kind of just lurming out in the house, I man, haven't really been doing much. Um, just been just kind of enjoying the car as I can and had a little uh, DJ battle with my brother the other day in the car which is funny dude I'll post a couple of clips here around just drinking beers throwing uh throwing songs down in the car and i'd send him videos and he'd send me one back <laughs> so i was just having fun um so yeah just been doing our thing um the car i've been absolutely loving it and i can't wait to just see what the future brings of this thing um i'm planning on tinting the windows really soon so be on the lookout for that please if you guys i'm starting to get a little uh little loose on content here uh, if you guys have anything you want me to go over anything you want to see anything you want me to do um go ahead and post in the comments and we'll see if we can uh integrate or incorporate some of those things into some of the future videos and the saying stories thanks to those of you guys who are watching and thanks to those of you guys who are liking and sharing the videos i appreciate it trying to build my channel back up you know i've rebranded my channel from a gaming channel to an fpv um, flight video channel to a Mustang vlog channel and, and I'm trying to kind of incorporate all of it into one thing and I've been having fun doing it um, and I appreciate those of you guys that have, have stayed with me and are still watching and enjoying the content. So thank you very much everybody. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Don't forget to hit that uh, notification bell and follow me on Instagram at silverstang707 for daily content on the car and we'll see you next time.